Okay, so in the last video, we got a basic SDL program running. We can just run this, have a look at it. Yep, there we have it. As our project gets larger, we might want to split the individual components out into their own files. At the moment, this is 50 lines, um, but I don't want it to get much larger. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's just make a folder so you might want to organize things in folders. I'll make a folder called view, and then inside view, I'll create a file called boardview.rs. So this is for the Tico game that I'm going to make. So then the question is, how do we, how do we get this in here? So what we could do is okay we want to do something like uh say we're going to use a module called board view and it's complaining so if we just hover our mouse over here it says yeah file not found for module board view um, to create the module it says create this board view dot rs or source board view folder mod.rs. Well, I don't want either of those. I've got a source that's called view. So uh, just yeah, to recap that, I could have created this board view in the same root directory and it would read that just fine. I could have called this folder board view and then make this file mod.rs. That would have worked just fine. But the question is, how do we adapt it to this structure? So all we need to do is just click on view, create a new um, file, which I'll call mod.rs. And then if I change this around and say, okay, I want the view module to be included, then it will look into the view folder, look into the mod.rs. And then what I'm gonna do is in this mod.rs, I'm going to declare the uh, modules that I'll use. So I'll say, okay, uh, I want to have a module called board view. And what that will do is inside that folder, it will look around, find board view.rs and say, okay, that's the module. Let's go with that. So here I'm using, uh, I've got mod view imported. Then I'll say, use view board view ah right okay so up until now i haven't worried about public or private modules because it was just one file but now we are going to need to declare that so i'll go to the the mod file and say okay we're exporting this board view mod and it's public so if we go back we can see that yep we are reading that just fine. It's complaining that we're not using it. So let's go ahead and create a board view. Now it's gonna be very simple right now. We're really just gonna take the code which is here already. And anyway, well, let's, let's get into it. So I'll say, okay, let's make a public struct. I'm gonna need a few things. I'm going to need the uh, area of the screen that I want this to take up. Now I want this to be a rectangle. It uh, includes that for me, so that's good. And then I want, okay, so it doesn't understand what that is. That's fine, I'll just go um, use SDL2. Okay. So let's create a renderer. I'll just go back and whoops, up here I'm defining the screen area and the color. So at this point, I'll just create the renderer. So I'll say let, uh, I'll just call this a board view. Now, unfortunately, 
we do have to declare these. There are options where we can set up we can set up default values, but for actual structs and things, setting up a default struct value is a little awkward. So I am actually going to, to create that. But luckily I have the options up here. So for the screen area, I'll just copy that over. Okay, so now we have, yeah, created the board view, but I want the board view to do something. I want it to render. So what I'll do is I'll give the board view a render function, which takes a, um, a canvas as its argument and sends commands to that canvas because the canvas is tied to the window. We send a draw command. It puts it out on the window. So we'll just go to the board view file and we'll define that uh, function. Say, okay, this is an implementation um, scoped to the renderer. Create a public function called render. And of course we need ourself. And I'll take a variable called canvas, which is a mutable borrowed reference to a canvas and that canvas is associated to a window. It's working on a window. I think I'll need to include these as well. So I've got uh, canvas has been automatically included. I'll also need, um, okay, excellent. So here we can just put all of our drawing functions. So I'll go back to the, the clear color bit and I'll just grab that. I'll say, okay, set the color and then do the drawing command. So here where I fill with rect, I'll put that here. Yeah, there we have it. Later on, if we want different views, so we want a board view, but then we want a score view and uh, something else view, then we can give them different um, rectangles to draw into and those rectangles will be plopped onto the screen in appropriate sections. But anyway, that's fine for now. All I'll do is say, okay, get my board view and I want you to render. Oh, does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay, excellent. Now there's one more thing which I didn't address before and that is Oh, sorry, I'm scrolling around all over the place. That is back here with this fill rect. It's complaining because this fill rect actually returns a result. So it's totally up to you. We can just leave this. It's not a big deal. But what we'll do, what we could do is um, go unwrap or default. And that just checks that the result is valid, which it should be. And just goes through the warning, but otherwise it would work the same way if we didn't have that extra stuff there. So now we can just run to verify that it is working as it should. And yep, it is 100% working as it should. Excellent. So this has just been a quick example of how to use multiple source files, how to bundle things into modules and sub modules. For instance, board view is a sub module of the view module. And yeah, I hope that was very informative or at least a little fun, and I'll see you again soon. All right, bye.